In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the project upgrade command found in the Patterns and Practices Office 365 command line interface. The CLI project upgrade command allows you to analyze an existing SharePoint framework solution and receive instructions with the necessary steps required to upgrade that solution to a newer version of the SharePoint framework. The project upgrade command can output all of the required steps to perform the upgrade of your solution in an easy to read report. Here on the screen, we're looking at the documentation for the project upgrade command, which includes a usage example, options available to the project upgrade command, some remarks on the project upgrade command, and examples on how to use the project upgrade command within the Office 365 CLI. As we can see in the examples, it provides the syntax needed to execute the command. As you can see, we're able to specify the exact version of the SharePoint framework we're needing to upgrade to. Additionally, we can specify the instructions are output into a markdown file called upgradereport.md. Now, it's also important to note that the project upgrade command does not make any changes to your project files. It simply provides the instructions needed to execute the upgrade of your solution to the desired SharePoint framework version. But you do need to run the command in the project where your solution is located. So now let's jump over into a demonstration of how we can execute the project upgrade command to provide the instructions needed to upgrade our solution. In this example web part, I've scaffolded out a 1.6.0 version of a SharePoint framework web part. We're going to look to upgrade this to the 1.8.2 version of SharePoint framework. To the right of my Visual Studio Code solution, I've got an Explorer window open to that exact solution for that web part. And I've also got the DOS prompt opened for that solution as well. So I'm going to click into the command prompt and paste the syntax along with the desired options to execute the project upgrade command. Now, before I execute this command, let me explain exactly what I'm requesting. I'm starting out by listing 0365. This allows me to execute the SPFX project upgrade command without first having to enter the Office 365 CLI. I'm then saying that I want to upgrade to the SPFX version 1.8.2. Lastly, I'm requesting that my instructions be output into a markdown file called upgrade-report.markdown. Now that will be listed right here within and created right here within the SPFX web part folder. Now that I've explained exactly what we're requesting, let me go ahead and execute this request. We can see that it's completed and we've created our upgrade-report.md file. Now let's open up our upgrade report.md and see what instructions have been provided to us by the project upgrade command. We'll go ahead and expand our solution here, up, open up our upgrade report, and we'll go ahead and put a preview of it side by side and close our files. Now the first section of the report is called findings, and that provides us a list of the steps required to upgrade our solution to the desired version we had requested for the CLI project upgrade, which in this case is 1.8.2. It includes all the necessary NPM commands and all the necessary manual steps we may need to take to upgrade to the requested version of SPFX, which in this case was 1.8.2. In addition to all of the listing of the steps needed, if we scroll down far enough, we're also provided with a summary of all the steps that were listed before that one by one. This provides us a neat, concise, script that includes all of those changes that we can copy out of the report and execute the steps listed in one single action. Now the summary also includes any manual modifications that you might need to make to your manifest files or your code files. As you can see, it's all identified here in the report. It's also important to remember, as mentioned previously, the project upgrade command does not make any modifications to your solution. It simply provides you this report, which identifies all of the steps necessary to upgrade your solution from the version that it's currently at to the requested version when you executed the project upgrade command. Now, the value of this benefit provided by the CLI project upgrade command is significant because without this step, you would have to go back and identify all of the changes that occurred between your current version and the version that you want to upgrade to. With the CLI, all of those steps are provided to you automatically within the report. Extremely valuable.